Welcome to another episode of NGWN Music News. If it ain't news, it ain't music. We kick off the show with some terrorizing information. As if the Bible bashing Christians of Rock's Golden Age were not bad enough, Greek black metal band Rotting Christ God. were held at the Georgian border last week. Wait, Georgian? Seriously? What the? Okay. Uh, over allegations regarding their name, adding two of the members of the band on the country's Satanist watch list. Yep. God. Satanist watch list. I mean, seriously, if you need to watch someone other than the terrorists, it really should be the CIA. Oh, shit, to the safe house! However, in true rock and roll form, this did not stop the devilish group who went on to play a show the very same night and carry on their weird as fuck tour into Armenia. In other news, scholar and all around gentleman, Tekashi69 or as he's affectionately known, 6 ix 9 has announced that his short-lived rap career will be coming to a close after less than half a year! Ha ha! Yeah, and he says... I can't push everything I've dreamed of in five months! Five months? I mean, come on, that's not even enough time to gestate a baby. And even after nine months, it comes out drooling and incontinent. That's what infuriates me about the modern music landscape. Music is something that grows with you as your career goes on, man. You learn how to express yourself in even deeper and more meaningful ways. Well, I mean, hopefully, you know, you never know. I mean, this guy, well, you know, whatever. But the point being is that you are completely missing the point of being a musician in this case. It is about your audience who get to see you grow from your first great hit to your well, yeah, you wouldn't have a great album anyway, so whatever. Uh, not great album for him, but for other people, very great albums, and we all love them and cherish them. So, however, with the increasing amount of one-hit wonders, it seems as though this is a concept that we're soon going to lose, and even worse, uh, forget. And while I completely and utterly support the early career termination of this jackass, it does leave us with a stark reminder that the way that we intake music has changed, and in this monkey's opinion, it's all going down the toilet. Ah. Is it a porn star? Is it a rapper? I do not know, and I most definitely do not know how to pronounce the name. So here it is. Uh, it's who has dipped his foot into the Chris Brown pool and was caught hitting a woman on the side of her head on camera. Yep, on camera. But X joining the Chris Brown Club isn't the most shocking part of this news. No, no. Uh, X is now suing the poor woman that he hit for fraud and defamation. I mean, seriously, you're gonna hit someone and then you wanna sue them. Like, what? It's, it's about as insane as the US claiming that 9-11 wasn't an inside job. Our hearts go out to this poor woman and the numerous women who have been objectified, harmed, and just generally demeaned by this man and his colleagues. I'm sexy and I know it. In breaking news, Muse, yes, Muse, they've passed on. From being incendiary composers of sonic brilliance to just not really giving a f***. In a recent interview, singer Matt Bellamy announced the band's 2018 plans that include a most unenthused recording session and even less anticipated festival appearances. What's a band that simply couldn't be touched for sheer freaking brilliance and stagecraft? They are slumming it alongside bands such as Paramore and Bastille as they sway their way towards an 80s revival. Hip hip hooray! I mean, why? Why do you have to keep torturing us, man? I mean, hold up. Matt, come in. Come in. It's okay. Okay. Now look, if the label's making you do this, just blink twice. Okay? Yeah. And that's the week! This Muppet in the suit right here has got some pretty decent stuff, and he's uploading every Wednesday at 8 p.m. GMT on the same channel. He's totally stealing my spot. But if you dig it, then click it. Click them both. And if you've got something to say, then don't spray. Leave it in the comments. I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun. 